morning. Welcome back to another video. It is Sunday, 5.45 in the morning, and I just got my ass up to go up to Mount Tammany. Me and my girlfriend are heading up there, and she's gonna hike, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna update you guys on my next challenge, talk a little about the 4x4x48 challenge that I just completed a couple weeks ago, um, let you guys know about an injury I've been fighting, and just talk training, running, eating, all that good stuff. So let's get after it. Let's get this day started. Welcome to the video. So one thing you have to do before you go run on a mountain all day is make sure you go to the bathroom. And my go-to is drinking a cup of black coffee and it sent me right to the bathroom. So after I'm done with this, I'm ready to go. If you're having trouble trying to go to the bathroom, put back some black coffee and you will be good to go. Number two. All right guys, we are on our way to Mount Tammany. It's 7.07. .07. Me and Sabrina are gonna do this. And this is like our like official mountain because like one of our first dates, we actually went to this mountain. So it's a little special, but sadly, we will not be really together because I'm going to be running and she is gonna be hiking it possibly two times. So we will see. Let's let's show Sabrina. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, so yeah, we are heading there. We're probably like 30 minutes out. I miss this place. I haven't been there in uh, over a month. So, um, and I'll explain to you guys like why I haven't gone back and what happened with the Tammany 10, the actual race and what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, we're on our way and we are very excited. So he needs to eat and I need to feed him. So here we go. <laughs> All right, just arrived at the mountain, and I realized that yesterday was the first day of spring, and it is spring weather here at Mount Tammany. Not really. But either way, we are gonna go attack this mountain. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, she's very excited. <laughs> I am. So yeah, we'll see you out there. I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm just so happy to be here. It's like, I feel like I'm home when I get back here. So this is great. Get my shoes on, start going up the mountain. I think I plan on doing three laps today. We will see how I feel. But three laps would be a good, good way to start. <laughs> got, my, got my water over here. Some Jersey accent going for you. <laughs> Hi, baby. Bye, baby. Mwah. My little speed run over here. Sand is always awesome. Look what we got here. Beautiful Delaware Water Gap. Beautiful Pennsylvania. New Jersey. It's a good time. First ascent done. I felt really good. Took my time though. Let me update you guys on what's been up. You know, since the challenge I did a couple of weeks ago, the David Goggins challenge. And if you've seen my other videos, you saw that I was training for what's called the Tammany 10. About like the end of February, I got an email saying that the Tammany 10 could not happen because the national parks said no races. What I decided is in four weeks from now, on April 24th, 
which is also my 28th birthday, I'm going to be doing the Tammany 10 on my own. A little training Tammany 10. That is what I'm training for now. That's why I'm back at Tammany. Another reason I took a break from Tammany at, in like February is because my shin started bothering me. And I thought, what the hell? It's probably shin splints. Let me rest it, which I did. Started feeling better. Then of course, after doing the four by four by 48, it acted up again. And you know, I'm a little concerned that it could be something worse than a shin splint, like a stress fracture. But right now it's feeling good. I got compression on, took some vitamin I, so that could be hiding the pain, definitely. But it feels fine. We're about to see how it feels on the descent. Starting the descent right now and just past the summit. That's usually where I would say about to send it. But I know another reason why I haven't came up here is because um, it's been very icy. And with my shin hurting and everything, even though I have yak tracks, I just thought it'd be safer if I didn't do it. Especially after hearing like the race was canceled. But yeah, I just had this urge like I need to, I need to do this. And if you guys see in my, one of my first videos that I post on YouTube, by the way, I've been doing YouTube for a year. So thank you all that follow. I know I'm jumping all over the place, but thank you to everyone who subscribed and joined along on my journey. And if you're new, welcome. I've only been doing this for a year, guys. And, you know, I was just like, I'm going to start a YouTube page. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube page, just do it. Just freaking do it. Who cares? But like I was saying... It's been icy, but it is not icy right now. This was all covered in snow and ice, <laughs> probably even last week. So this is great. Don't need the tracks. Awesome. Shin is feeling pretty good. Awesome. Yeah, like I was saying, it was all icy. I had yak tracks, but wanted to play it safe. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad it gave me a chance to do that David Goggins challenge because I probably wouldn't have done it if the race wasn't canceled. So things are meant to be. One of my first videos last year on my birthday, I ran 50 miles, like my first ultra, ultra marathon. I ran 50 miles just around my neighborhood. And uh, that's where it all started. <laughs> that's where it all began. And here I am a year later running down Tammany. Going, brother. Yeah. That waterfall is cooking. Yeah, that's mile, th mile three. Woo! Bring a little romance into this. That tree down there, that's where me and Sabrina had our first kiss. And that's why I started calling Mount Tammany Makeout Mountain. Almost done with this first lap. Feeling really good. My shin is good. Everything's good. It's a beautiful day. I'm very grateful right now. Just shot down that descent quicker than I expected. No ice. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Yay! <laughs> so It is getting warm. Had to take some layers off. Oh, I am so happy right now that I'm here.
training and doing this. On my way back up for lap two. Just enjoying the day. There's one thing I can tell you guys, I'm sure I've told you before, get outside, go into nature. You are gonna feel amazing. You're gonna feel like you're home because it's just in us. It's in us as human beings to be outside and to be doing stuff like this. Maybe not running up the mountain, but let's go for a hike or go for a walk. It's really good when you get some sun. Two loops done. Down and back up we go. Still a beautiful view. Seriously, gorgeous view. Gotta stay hydrated. Get my salts in. Eat some calories, which I'm about to do right now. Shin is holding up. I think we're in the clear, but we'll see. It's only been up twice, one down one. So got another loop, maybe maybe two. I think I just might call that three to play it safe, which sucks, but gotta gradually work my way back up and eventually get to 10 by April 24th. And look what we got here. It's a beautiful bear. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> So that's why it's called Make Out Mountain. <laughs> that's what we do. How you feeling? Hi, I'm good. Did you enjoy a little of the overlook over there? Yeah, it was the only one. Oh, it's, it's, really hot nice. it's a really beautiful day and it's just like warming up. I had my jacket like up the minutes. whole time. You have? I did, and then I got to the top and it was freezing and then I put it back on. I took my shell off and it was like soaking wet. Yum. So Sweating really badly. Go have fun. All right. I love you. Bye. <laughs> mm. Nothing better than a caffeinated spring energy gel to get me through this third and final loop on this easy day around the mountain. It's just like days like this. I'm just so grateful for and it just puts me in this amazing mood and it's a mixture of the beautiful day and being out here in nature on a mountain what a mixture pure bliss Ooh, yeah. have to soak it in a little my third lap it's peaceful and it is officially spring here as of yesterday although it doesn't feel like it but it never does when it first turns to spring but it's definitely turning into a spring day i think it's supposed to be up in the 60s today so gorgeous gorgeous <clears throat> starting to get crowded that's the other thing with this time of year this trail definitely gets crowded so you know, next couple weeks, I gotta, I gotta come here early, like before the sun is, is up, so I can get a lot of laps in before it's too crowded. But enjoying the day, about to hit my third summit. Head down, then I'll eat some food. Might go on a little run later today as well. We'll see. So finishing up, lap number three. I gotta talk a little loud because this water right here. But you know, one thing I noticed going down is nothing really hurts. You know, like I'm very loose and relaxed, which you're supposed to be if you're doing descents. You gotta relax. You gotta just stay focused on where your feet are, are going. You know, you gotta kind of look down the whole time, but look up real quick, see what's ahead, and that gets to my point of. 
going down, it's all brain power. And I swear, like, it hurts up here. Like, at the bottom, I'm like, whoo. I'm, like, tired and mentally going down there. It's like any moment I could fall, hit my face, possibly die. But I have so much trust and confidence in myself, you know, going down and staying nice and relaxed. And it's like you got to stay calm in the chaos. It's so true. You just have to have composure, even if everything's a mess. And that's like life. And this is calmness, right? You kind of just got to enjoy that a little bit too. It's really nice. Oh man, I love this stuff. And I just feel, I feel so alive when I come out here. So, it's one hell of a feeling. And I really advise you guys to get out on the trails, go hiking, do whatever you can. All right, let's finish this up. All done. I'm gonna go back and find my girl on the trail, finish hiking it with her. That's a nice view, besides the highway. Whew. We are done. That is the day at Tammany. I'm probably just gonna sit and chill. I really wish we could just jump in this water. It's probably ice cold. It's probably perfect for, you know, recovery. April 24th, I'll be back here for 10 loops on my birthday. It's gonna be amazing. So I will see you guys in the next one.